from jellyfish, cockroaches and scorpions to worms, wasps and tardigrades. Here are 15 creatures that could survive the apocalypse. Number 15. Amoebas Many scientists regard this unicellular organism as the world's simplest form of life. They're found in huge numbers just about everywhere, so it would take a lot to wipe them out. That would be especially difficult since they can enter a cyst-like state during which they remain dormant. Shielded by a protective layer, amoebas can remain in that suspended state almost indefinitely. Scientists say they're resistant to radiation and they can quickly reproduce on their own. That quality alone could allow them to carry on through any cataclysmic chaos. Number 14. Red Flat Bark Beetles Among other northern regions, these insects inhabit the Brooks Mountain Range in Alaska. They've gained a reputation for surviving harsh winter weather with a unique behaviour. When that season arrives, the insects will release almost half of their body water. The remaining fluid is used to produce antifreeze proteins as it enters a type of suspended animation. Researchers say the insects can resist temperatures plummeting to minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit, that's minus 150 degrees Celsius. If a global catastrophe triggers another major ice age, these beetles might sleep right through it. Number 13. Pompeii Worm Named for the ancient Roman city, this is a species of polychaete worm that inhabits deep waters of the Pacific Ocean. Their alien appearance matches their alien habitat since they're found only in hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. For short periods, they can thrive in water temperatures as high as 221 degrees Fahrenheit, 105 Celsius. Researchers regard this as the second most heat tolerant complex animal in the world. Only the tardigrade can withstand more heat. Number 12. Fruit flies. Since most of these insects breed within rotting fruit, they're regarded more as nuisances than pests. With a lifespan of only 30 days, they don't have much time to bug anyone too badly. But they can survive hundreds of times more radiation than humans, and require very little to sustain them. Would a lifespan of 30 days be a blessing or a curse in a post-apocalyptic world? Number 11. Scorpions these arachnids are probably best known for their narrow, segmented tail. Out of more than 1,700 known species, only about 25 species carry a fatal sting. But all scorpions are known to glow with a greenish-blue fluorescence when exposed to ultraviolet radiation. That suggests they might be able to withstand nuclear radiation too. Scientists don't know why the arachnids glow under UV light nor do they understand why scorpions can survive being frozen and then be successfully thawed out. So it's possible that the arachnids could tolerate a nuclear winter. Since they can adapt to habitats ranging from forests to deserts, maybe they could adapt to irradiated wastelands too. Let us know what you think in the comments. Number 10. E. coli Since bacteria is neither a plant nor an animal, it's not really a creature as such. But this one has a very close association with humans, so we put it on the list. E. coli is a familiar name that is infamous for producing all manner of abdominal discomfort. It's one of the most widely researched bacteria and is usually found in the lower intestine. One of E. coli's lesser known qualities is its resistance to radiation. Most sources claim the microorganism can withstand at least six times the amount of radiation that is lethal for a human. In the wake of a global catastrophe, the bacteria would probably survive long after its host had been obliterated. Number 9. Mummichog Also known as mud minnows and killifish, these small animals can adapt to the freshwater or saltwater habitats of the North American Atlantic coast. They've become valuable research subjects for toxicologists because of their tolerance for high levels of radiation and toxins. Some studies have found mummy chogs living in waterways that were severely polluted and oxygen deprived. Their hardy constitutions are a reason why they were the first fish sent into space. During that 1973 Skylab mission, scientists noted that the fish quickly adapted to a zero gravity environment. It looks like their adaptability is due to completely controlling their genome. Researchers say that mummy chogs can switch certain genes on and off to suit their environment. 
Who's to say they couldn't deal with a worldwide disaster? Number 8. Lingulata Brachiopods are animals like clams with hinged shells that have a tongue-like appearance. That inspired their name, which comes from the Latin word for tongue. A fleshy stalk allows it to burrow into sandy, muddy sediments. These are simple animals that have remained largely unchanged for over 540 million years. Yet these unassuming creatures have managed to make it through five major mass extinctions, during which most of the planet's life forms were taken out. They seem to burrow deeply into the ground during turbulent times, only to re-emerge when the trouble has passed. Researchers still aren't sure how they managed to do this. Maybe it doesn't matter. If the Lingulata can survive major mass extinction events, they can certainly ride out the apocalypse. Number 7. Immortal Jellyfish Turritopsis dornii is a small jellyfish native to the Caribbean and the Mediterranean seas. Its bizarre existence has been compared to a butterfly that would be able to regress to its caterpillar incarnation. This jelly can revert itself from mature adult to its polyp stage of life, and the cnidarian can apparently repeat this cycle endlessly, which gives it a true type of biological immortality. The process is called transdifferentiation, but how the creature does this remains a mystery. It's difficult to know exactly how old one of these creatures might be, or how long they might survive. Number 6. Parasitic Wasps These insects comprise an order that contains some 17,000 documented species. But some researchers think there could be as many as 50,000. They get their common name from their behaviour. The wasps' larvae are internal or external parasitoids that feed off hosts including butterflies and moths. If the hosts aren't killed, they can become less active and sterile. Some species have a strong sense of smell, and have been trained to sniff out chemical weapons and drugs, kind of like tiny insectoid police dogs. Another talent some wasps possess is the ability to withstand huge amounts of radiation. Researchers found it took 180,000 rads to kill one of these animals. By contrast, it takes about 1,000 rads to take out a human. There's no debate about who survives a nuclear Armageddon. And there's no wonder why many sources regard parasitic wasps as some of the toughest animals alive. Number 5. Videloids there are more than 450 species of these microscopic invertebrates, which are usually located in freshwater habitats around the globe. Researchers have never found a male specimen. All of them are female and repopulate through the act of parthenogenesis, an asexual form of reproduction. They're known as hardcore survivors, and they do so using a bizarre practice of genetic thievery stealing the DNA of other organisms in parts pedeloids with the ability to tolerate long periods of dehydration. The practice further allows them to thrive in high levels of radiation that would kill most other animals. Number 4. Cockroaches If there's one creature that's synonymous with survival in a post-apocalyptic world, it must be the cockroach. How many stories have we heard about it living through a planet-wide nuclear meltdown and inheriting the Earth? Well, there's plenty of evidence to suggest these stories could actually happen. Did you know that roaches were found scuttling about the ruins of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? So they can tolerate at least that much nuclear fallout. Their tolerance to radiation is far greater than most vertebrates, and they can eat just about anything. If there's nothing to eat, they can go for weeks on end without nourishment. They can even live for an extended time after being decapitated. Cockroaches have been bugging the world for more than 300 million years. Whether or not there's a global calamity, it looks like cockroaches will be here for a long time to come. Number 3. Spinularicus chinzia This tiny animal has a huge ability that made big news when it was described in 2014. While the vast majority of creatures must breathe oxygen to survive, this one does not. The microscopic organism is the first animal species documented with this characteristic. And so far, its unique ability is not found anywhere else in the animal kingdom. Researchers say its innards are geared for life in a zero oxygen environment. It thrives more than two and a half miles, four kilometers below the surface of the Mediterranean Sea. That region is called the dead zone and contains no oxygen. How does it survive? 
Instead of breathing, this critter has organelles that provide it with energy. That type of talent would give it a good shot at living through the direst of circumstances. Number 2. Conan the Bacterium We'll return to the Bacteria Kingdom for this segment. While you can argue that Bacteria wouldn't make for the best superheroes, this segment does have some superpowers. It's one of the world's most radiation-resistant organisms, able to survive 1.5 million rads of gamma radiation. That would either kill a human thousands of times over, or turn them into the Hulk. Experts say this specimen has some qualities reminiscent of the tardigrade. They can survive extreme cold, vacuum, acid, and the effects of dehydration. To top it off, their DNA possesses such a rapid repair rate that these creatures can actually die and then come back to life. This microorganism is so tough that scientists have nicknamed it Conan the Bacterium. Number 1. Respect the Tardigrade You're probably already familiar with this eight-legged microscopic beast. Their stout, plump shape inspires the nickname Water Bears. Many scientists have hailed them as the world's most indestructible animals. They're regarded as extremophiles, or creatures that thrive in conditions that would doom many other species. Tardigrades can tolerate freezing temperatures at high altitudes, the vacuum of outer space, they can survive the blazing heat of deserts and the crushing pressure of deep water environments. They can even be dehydrated and brought back to life nearly 10 years later. Tardigrades have survived all types of extreme conditions for more than 500 million years with no worries. National Geographic has reported that tardigrades will probably avoid extinction until the sun becomes a red giant and explodes. That might occur in about 6 billion years. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.